If you like hiking and backpacking, then you'll love my channel. If you want to subscribe, please click on this icon and click the subscribe button. If you want to watch more videos, just click down here on the last 10 seconds of my videos and smash that like button. Welcome back to another edition of Backpacking Gear for Summer 2020. Today we're going to be talking about my shoe system, shoes that I've been hiking in, and my rain gear. Also, my trekking poles. So starting off with my Hoka's. These are my daily hiking shoe. I've been wearing these for almost a year now. Um, they still got some tread left on them. They're definitely uh, airy and light. They don't weigh very much and uh, they've been really good shoes to hike in. Um, as far as wetness, I mean you will get your foot wet in these. They're very airy. Um, you can, I guess you can see some, I guess there's some damage going up the toe. The toe here looks like it might start, this one's better than the other one, but looks like some damage going on there. And so, yeah, these have been great. I highly recommend these shoes. Try some Hoka Speed Goats. Only either the three or the fours. I will be getting those in the future. Trying them out. As far as um, the cushion on these shoes, they're they're really good, but they don't have a rock plate in them, so you can still feel the rocks underneath your shoes and stuff like that. So my Solomon XA Pros. Um, these are really good shoes for wet conditions. Uh, this is Gore-Tex waterproof, so good for like day hikes and stuff like that. I wouldn't recommend it for backpacking or anything like that. These shoes have been through a lot. I mean, I've had these shoes for about three years now. As far as weight, this definitely weighs more than my Hoka's, for sure. Yeah, other than that, I mean, they don't have gator traps or anything. Neither do the Hoka's. I don't find that I really need gator, gator traps or anything like that. I've had these Ultras for about, I want to say like a year, maybe less than a year, maybe about six months. I haven't hiked them very much. They're like brand new almost. I think sizing is an issue for these ones because I um, bought a size up from what I normally wear. I wear size eight and these are size nines. So I think I'm gonna have to go back down to like an eight and a half or something because my feet were definitely slipping in these shoes when going downhill. I would say that, yeah, definitely make sure you get the sizing right on these. Uh, these are like a cloud. I mean, walking in these are like, you know, just definitely such a better experience than both of these other shoes. I mean, I don't think these have rock plates either. These shoes also have gator traps. Um, like I said, I don't really use gators a lot. I did have some REI gators before I bought these. And I didn't really like them because the Velcro fell off on the back of the shoe. So I just threw away the gators. So, but anyways, um, these ultra shoes... Are, they ride like a cloud. You you can barely feel anything. I mean, I'm, you can feel some rocks, but these, for some reason, there's a lot more bounce in your step with these, and it feels a lot better on your feet than it would in any of these other shoes. This is my rain jacket. It's an outdoor research helium two. It is pack light shell. This jacket is fully taped in the seams. It also has two pockets, and as you can see, it has side pit zips right there. But overall, this is good for intermittent rain. Probably not the best for a heavy downpour. Uh, moving on down to my rain pants. These are the outdoor research uh, rain pants here. These only weigh five ounces. The jacket weighs like six or seven ounces. Um, so, but anyways, this is made out of a different material. It's made out of uh, Pertex 
shield, um, which I think is, I'm not sure if that's a better fabric than um, pack light, but it's supposed to be the same kind of thing. So intermittent rain, just to keep, you know, from getting soaked. But I mean, like all rain gear, you will get soaked eventually. But so anyways, this has side zips at the bottom. So that's good for getting this over your boots and stuff like that. Now as far as durability, I'm not sure if these are gonna be uh, very durable. So we'll see, it seems like a really uh, thin fabric for sure. Of course, um, we're talking about weight. So if you're not worried about weight, then I would go with a heavy duty jacket. Especially if you don't have anything else but just a rain shell. A lot of backpackers are starting to use umbrellas. I personally have not started using an umbrella, but I have been considering it. So I guess we'll see what happens. Really nice trekking poles. They're cheap on Amazon. I think they're like 30 bucks. They got the tips. And the tips are nice on them still. I've had problems with losing these before. Hopefully I don't have a, that problem, but you never know. With use comes destruction. These are carbon fiber, so they're not aluminum. As far as not breaking, these would break a lot easier than aluminum, but they're also lighter weight, so. It's a beautiful day out here in Georgia. Thanks for joining me today. And if you would like to comment below, tell me about your favorite piece of gear and why you love to use it.